The time is one o'clock in the morning. I have, I want to try something different and see how well it works out. So I'm going to go through the Bible with one word and I'm going to go through the whole Bible with that one word. Alright, and the word is redeemed and we want to go to Exodus chapter 6 and verse 6 and 7 wherefore say unto the children of Israel I am the Lord and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians and I will rid you out of their bondage and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgment and I will take you to me for a people and I will be to you a God, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your God, which bringeth you out from under the burden of the Egyptians. So let's go to 13, chapter 13. And we want 13 to 15. And every furling of an ass thou shalt redeem with a lamb. And if thou wilt not redeem it, then thou shalt break his neck. And all the firstborn of man among thy children shalt thou redeem. And it shall be when thy son asks thee in time to come, saying, What is this? that thou shalt say unto him, By strength of hands of the Lord, brought us out of Egypt from the house of bondage. And it came to pass when Pharaoh would hardly let, go, let us go, that the Lord showed all the firstborn in the land, in the land of Egypt, both firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Therefore, I sacrifice to the Lord all that open the matrix, being male, but all the firstborn of my children I redeem. Let's go to chapter 34, and we want verse 20. All righty. But the firstling of an ass thou shalt redeem with a lamb. And if thou redeem him not, then shalt thou break his neck. All the firstborn of thy sons shalt thou redeem. And none shall appear before me empty. Alright, let's go to Leviticus. And we want chapter 25. And we want 25 down to 49. 25. If thy brother be waxen poor and has sold away some of his possession, and if any man of his kin come to redeem it, then shall he redeem that which his brother sold. And if the man have none to redeem it, and himself be able to redeem it, then let him count the years of the sale thereof, and redeem the overplus unto the man to whom he sold it, that he may return unto his possession." But if he be not able to re restore it to him, then that which is sold shall remain in the hands of him that hath bought it until the year of Jubilee. In the year, let's see, and in the Jubilee sh it shall go out, and he shall redeem unto his possession. If a man sell a dwelling house in a walled city 
then he may redeem it within a whole year after it is sold. Within a full year may he redeem it. And if it be not redeemed within the space of a full year, then the house that is in the walled city shall be established forever to him that bought it throughout his generation. It shall not go out in the jubilee. But if the house of the village which have no walls round about them shall be counted as the field of the country, they shall be redeemed, and they shall go out in jubilee. Notwithstanding, the cities of the Leviticus, or the Levites, <laughs> and the house of the city of their possession may the Levites redeem at any time. And if a man purchase of the Levites, in the house that was sold, the city of the possession shall go out in the year of Jubilee. The house of the city of the Levites or their possession among the children of Israel. But the field of the suburb of their cities may not be sold, for it is their perpetual possession. And if thy brother be waxen poor, and fallen in decay with thee, then believe him, yea, though he be a stranger or a sojourner, that he may live with thee. <clears throat> Take thou no usury of him or increase, but fear thy God, that thy brother may live with thee, and thou shalt not give him in Give him thy money unto usury, nor lend him thy victuals for increase. For I am your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan to be your God. And if thy brother that dwelleth by thee waxen poor, and be sold unto thee, Thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bondservant, but as a hired servant, and as a sojourner he shall be with thee, and thou shalt serve thee unto the year of Jubilee. And then shall he depart from thee, both he and his children with him, and shall return to his own family, and unto the possession of his father, Shall he return? All right, we want to go to Leviticus twenty seven thirteen through thirty one. I'm going to start with verse twelve. Now the priest shall value it, whether it be good or bad, as thou value it. Who art the priest, so shall it be. But if he will at all redeem it, then he shall add a fifth part thereof unto thy estimation. And when a man shall sanctify his house, uh, sanctify his house to be holy unto the Lord, then the priest shall estimate it, whether it be good or bad. As the priest shall estimate it, so shall it stand. And if he that sanctified it will redeem his house, then he shall add the fifth part of the money of thy estimation unto it, and it shall be his. And if a man shall sanctify unto the Lord some part of the field of his possession, then they estimate shall be according to the seed thereof, a omer, a barley seed shall be valued at fifty shekels of silver. If he sanctified his field from the year of Jubilee according to the estimation, it shall stand. But if he sanctified his field after the Jubilee, then the priest shall reckon unto him 
the money according to the year that he remained, even unto the year of Jubilee, and it shall be abated from thy estimation. And if he that sanctified the field will in any wise redeem it, then he shall add the fifth part of the money of the estimation unto it, and it shall assure to him. And if he will not redeem the field, or if he have sold the field to another man, it shall not be redeemed any more. But if the field, when it goeth out in the jubilee, shall be holy unto the Lord, as a field devoted and positioned thereof shall be the priest. And if any man sanctified unto the Lord a field which he had bought, which is not of the field of his possession, then the priest shall reckon unto him the fourth of thy estimation, even unto the year of Jubilee. And he shall give thine estimation in that day as a holy thing unto the Lord. In the year of Jubilee the field shall return unto him of whom he was bought, even to him to whom the possession of the land did belong. And all thy estimations shall be according to the shackle of the sanctuary. Twenty gophars shall be a sh the shackle. Only the firstling of the beast which shall be the Lord's firstling. No man shall sanctify it, either it be oxen or sheep. It is the Lord's, that's a dog. And if it be of an unclean beast, then he shall redeem it according to thy estimation, and shall add a fifth part of it there and thereto. Or if it be not redeemed, then it shall be sold according to thy estimation. Notwithstanding, no devoted, devoted thing that a man shall devote unto the Lord of all that he hath, both of man and beast, and of the field of his possession, shall be sold or redeemed. Every devoted thing is most holy unto the Lord. None devout, devoted which shall be devoted to men shall be redeemed, but shall surely be put to death. And all the tithes of the lamb, whether, the, whether of the seed of the lamb or of the, seed, the fruit of the tree is the Lord's. It is holy unto the Lord. If and if a man will at all redeem aught of his tithes, he shall add thereto the fifth part thereof. Alrighty, so we have that one done. Let's go to numbers and we want 18. Eighteen and we want fifteen through seventeen. Numbers eighteen through seventeen. No women. Numbers eighteen, fifteen through seventeen. <laughs> Everything that opens the matrix in all flesh which they bring unto the Lord, whether it be a man or beast, shall be thine. Nevertheless, Firstborn of man shalt thou surely redeem, and the first fruit of unclean beasts shalt thou redeem. And those that are to be redeemed from a month old shalt thou redeem according to thy estimation, for the money of five shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, which is twenty gophers. 
But the firstling of a cow, or a firstling of a sheep, or the firstling of a goat, thou shalt not redeem, for they are holy. Thou shalt sprinkle their blood upon the altar, and thou shalt burn their fat for an offering made by fire for a sweet savor unto the Lord. Alrighty, we want to go to Ruth. Judges, Judges, come on, I know this is a small book, Ruth, and we want to go to chapter 4, 4 through 6, and I thought to advise thee saying, buy it before the inhabitations and before the elders of thy, my people. If thou wilt redeem it, redeem it. But if thou wilt not redeem it, then tell me, that I may know. For there is none to redeem it besides thee. And I am after thee. And he saith, I will redeem it. Then said Boaz, What day thou buyest the field of the hand of Naomi? Thou must buy it also of Ruth, the Moabite, the wife of the dead, to raise up name of the dead upon his inheritance. But the kinsman said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest I mere my own inheritance. Redeem thou my right to thyself, for I cannot redeem it. So, from the looks of it, I didn't, I, I, I always thought that when someone died, a man died, that they didn't have to re, uh, have somebody, like the brother, Mary, or somebody else. I didn't, I never thought, I always thought that was, you know, uh, a myth. But, according to this, looking at it, there's something to that, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance. So, it looks like that uh, they had to. All right, let's go to Second Samuel, and we want chapter seven and verse twenty-three. And what one nation? In the earth is like unto thy people, even like unto Israel, whom God went redeem for a people to himself, um, and to make him a name, and to do for you great things and, and terrible for thy land before thy people, which thou redeemest to thee from Egypt. And from the nations of their gods. Hmm. So, all right, First Corinthians. Let's go on down. Okay, Chronicles. No, First Chronicles seventeen. Twenty-one. It'll take me a little bit to get back to used to doing this. I used to do it years ago, and I really, I really enjoyed it. All right, here we go. First Chronicles seventeen twenty one. And what one nation in the earth is like? Thy people Israel, whom God went to redeem, to be His own people, to make thee a name of greatness and terribleness by driving out nations from before thy people whom thou hast redeemed out of Egypt. Okay, so 
I think the next one is Nehemiah. It's there's Ezra Chronicles. I, I I not I haven't been in a Bible in a while. I mean, real small things, yeah, but uh, not. I, I'm not. I don't know where I'm going, I, and I don't like it. All right, Nehemiah and let's see. Let me find more map. Nehemiah five. Got to go back. Nehemiah 5. That's too many pages. Nehemiah 7. 5 and 5. Nehemiah 5 and 5. Yea, now our flesh is as the flesh of our brethren, our children's as their children. And lo, we bring unto bondage our sons and our daughters to be a servant and some of our daughters are brought into bondage already neither is it in our power to redeem them for other men have our land and vineyards boy if that ain't true i mean what can we do with uh to redeem ourselves or redeem our children out of the bondage of the government. There's nothing we can do. I mean, I would. The only way is through Jesus Christ when He comes back. All right. Now I want to go Job. All right, Job and five and twenty. In famine. He shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. So who can do that? Jesus is the only one. I know I look kind of weird like this. And it's like I'm looking that way. But I'm really looking right at the camera. <laughs> it looks weird. Alright, we want to go Psalms and 25. Let me get this stuff out of here. Alright, Psalms and 25. Keep going back. Twenty-five and twenty-two. Redeem Israel, O Lord, out of all his troubles the creator god comes and fixes israel and takes it out of its trouble everything's going to be the same everything redeem israel oh god out of all of its troubles i wish that he that it would happen but unless you know what's going on with israel and uh, you're probably just going to be uh, uh, blind in this right here. Alright. Let's see. We want 26. Uh-oh. 25. Okay, 26 and 11. But as for me, I will walk in thy integrity redeem me and be merciful unto me all right we want to go to 44 oh, come on okay chapter 44 and we want 26 arise for our help and redeem us for thy mercy's sake we want to go to 49 49 and 7. Okay, I need to go up because we have two little dotties. They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches 
none of them can by any means redeem thy brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. All right, we've still got two little daughters. We're going on to eight. For the redemption of their soul is precious, and it costs us forever. Nine, that he should still live forever. And not see corruption. This is talking about Jesus. He was. You, I, I, I do believe. Okay, and trust thy wealth and boast himself. None of them can by any means redeem thy brother, his brother. In other words, they can't do anything. For only Jesus Christ can redeem you. Nobody else can. Gosh, I miss doing this. All right, let's see, I'm 49 and 7. All right, uh, keep on going. We got 69. Now we want to go 69 and verse 18. 69 and 18. Draw nigh unto my soul and redeem it. Deliver me because of my enemies. That's what I'll say. Jesus redeemed me because of my enemies. Alright, we want to go 72. And verse 14. He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. Um... <clears throat> I don't think I need to say any more. He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence, and precious shall their blood be in his sight. All right, now we want to go to 130. 130 and verse number 8. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquity. Alrighty, so now here we go with that. Now let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah and 50. And we want verse 2. Wherefore, when I come, there was no man. When I called, there was none to answer. Is my hand shortened at all? that it cannot redeem, or have I no power to deliver. Behold, at my rebuke, I dry up the sea, and I make the rivers a wilderness, and the fish stinketh, because there is no water, and he death for thirst. I don't want no part of that. Right, let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 15. Twenty-one. Jeremiah 15 and 21. And I will deliver thee out of the hands of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hands of the trouble. That sounds good to me. Let's go to, I think it's Hosea. Let's get through. We got Lamentation. Come on, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, come on now, Jeremiah. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Daniel, Hosea, and we want chapter 13, chapter 13, and verse 14. I will redeem them from the powers of the grave. I will redeem them from death. O death, I will be thy plague. O grave, I will be thy destruction. Repentance 
shall be hid from thy eyes. Alright, I gotta think on that one. Alright, I hope it's not backwards. That this is the Wy Wycliffe, Wycliffe Bible Commentary. And it's a really old book. Um, I'm not for sure what year. 1962. But, he says, I will redeem them from the power of the grave. The word expressed the feeling of a father who cannot bear to contempting the utter ruins of even a faithful son. Judgment must come upon Israel, but beyond the judgment would be deliverance. The grave, Shiloh, and death are used some synonymously of another world. Its power are arrived against God's people of all ages. Matthew sixteen eighteen. Yet God will be the victor over death and the grave. Paul in first Corinthians fifteen fifty five cities okay, describe the trumpet of the Christian over death. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? Now, now that one I, I can remember. Right? And I do know about it yet. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, we've already did that one. We want to go to Malachi. I think that's be what it is. Yeah, keep on going, Amos. Okay, Malachi 4 and 10. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travel. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field. And thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. Where there the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thy enemy. All right. Now we want to go to Jesus. Galatians. Galatians. Here's Galatians, and we want four and five. All right, we've got to go up, up right here on three. Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And that would be it. Alright, now we want to go to Titus. I think is what it is. What is it? Nope, that one I need either. I know it's a, a Titus. Yes, I was right. Titus. And we want 2 and 14. And we have to go up and up to 12. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteous, and godly in this present world. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearance of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity, and purify himself a particular pe people zealous of good works. All right, now that's going to be the end of redeem. 
But now let's go to the strongest concordance. All right, we have six of them in the Old Testament and two in the New. So the third, uh, the first one is thirteen and fifty. So um, it's to redeem, deliver, avenger, kinsman, redeemer, to be redeemed, to be redeemed, redeemed oneself. Often his redemption is in the context of saving from danger or hostility as a figure of purchasing a slave or identified person. All right, now we've got five of them, not, uh, we've got one down here twice. So our next one, we want to go to five, of the thirteen. 53. So that right there would be right here. Redemption of a person or object. Right of redemption. Blood relative. Redemption. Price of redemption. Redeemed. Kinman. Okay. That's, there's a little bit more, but there, you know. Okay. Okay, 4672. To find out. Dis discover, uncover, to be found out, be caught, to hand over, pre present, to bring upon, cause, to encounter, find favor in the eyes, meaning to be pleased, found, find, present, find out, findeth, Come upon, find out, be fallen. Okay, I think you all get the gist of it. Alright, so let's go on to 62.99. Alright, 62.99. Also you with compound proper names. To redeem, ransom, deliver, Rescue, buy, to be redeemed, be redeemed, to be redeemed. Okay, it's still the same thing. Okay. All right, that's continuing. All right, now let's go to the New Testament. And we want 1805. All right, 1805 to redeem. Extra of an act of purchasing something in the marketplace to make the most of the time redeemed. Alright, let's go to 3084. Alright, 3084 to redeem, free a slave by paying a ransom from the base meaning of slave Redemption to the marketplace come from the figure of sinners redeemed by God from slavery to sin and death redeemed. All right, so what I'm reading from what from here, and I'm um, not think about this. We are all born into slavery here on earth. It, it, there's no getting out of it. <coughs> So, you're going to have another life after this one. So, Jesus Christ came, and he died on the cross, and he shed his blood, and he humiliate, got humiliated to redeem you from being a slave. So, in your next life, that you can live it up better than what you've got now. So, that's what I'm looking at. And I think it sounds really good. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Real quick saying. I think I'll get better at this as I go. Um, I, ne I really do need to get back into the Bible. Because I'm not for sure where the books are anymore. And I used to be able to go straight to the books. And go straight to right where I need to go. 
and this isn't working out. I need to do it more. 